Bienvenidos de nuevo mis polimáticos, Mr. Crofts here. Today we're going to be going into a bit of a beginner's overview of this tool that I've been featuring in some of my videos lately, which is my Super Note. This is the tool that I have settled on after months of searching high and low, you know, years ago before I bought this, for the best paper tablet on the market because I, there's a lot of options out there and I've even tried the more well-known name, the Remarkable, and I finally I had to, I, I tried it and I returned it because it, it just wasn't for me. This is far superior because of the thing that matters most to me, which is organization. And so what I want to do in this video is I want to show you some of the tools that I use for organizing my notebooks in Supernote. For those of you that are either curious and maybe thinking about getting your own super note or you've just purchased one and you want to kind of get a fast track into some of the most, the most powerful features. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to begin with the heart of super note, which is notebooks. In order to create a new notebook, the three icons on the top right corner that you see represent new notebook, new Word document, or new folder. We're going to click the new notebook button. You can give it a title. And then if you want to pick one of the preloaded templates that come with Supernote, you can pick them from down here. Click view all in order to see all the options that you have. For me, I already have some, comp some custom templates in here. I'm going to choose one of those. We'll go over how to do that here in just a second and then click create. So this is a custom template that I've made that fits exactly with the dimensions of my super note. For me, this layout is 1404 pixels by 1872 pixels. And what I do in order to create your own template is you generate a PDF. You can do that on Canva or wherever you design your custom templates. And then you're going to drop it into the super note uh, my style folder, which is out here from the top level hierarchy into my style. You're going to drop all your custom templates in here. The way that you do that from your computer is in your Supernote settings. If you drop, pull down the drop down bar from the top, go into settings, into drive. You can connect your choice of cloud storage. I've chosen Dropbox. You connect your account and then when you connect a, a particular folder within your cloud storage account to your Supernote device. And then as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi on your Supernote, you can synchronize them. And then every time you refresh that sync, all the files that are in your cloud storage account will show up then in Supernote. And then you can use them as templates. Okay, so back here in this new weekly uh, journal series that we just made, we're going to begin with headings. Okay, so let's, for example, today is Tuesday, July 7th. So the week that I'm in, the week, days, window that I'm in, is Monday, yesterday, the, the 7th, to Friday, the 11th, I believe. Okay, so that's the title of my, no, my page right here. And I'm going to use this as my place where I'm going to plan my goals for this week. This particular window of time, I'm targeting a very specific set of tasks. So I might say, okay, so these are just some example goals that I might have for a given week. The headings is the feature that we use in order to start indexing these weeks so that we can quickly navigate across them so that I can look ahead, for example, and see let's say that I want to plan a particular event in three weeks time. I don't have to wait until that time in order to target it within a particular week. I might not know exactly what day, but I know that I want to target it within a, a work week window. And so what I'm going to do is I have this index area here that includes all of my headings. In order to create a heading, I'm going to, with my lasso tool, highlight the Thing that I want to make the title or the heading and then I click this button here for headings you can pick which style you wish I always go with this one and now this becomes part of our index 
We can use this tool to see all of our headings in one place. This is what it looks like for me. All of my current headings that I have planned for the future are listed here. I also have ones from the past that I've removed. So this one right here is the current week 7, 7 to 7, 11. And I can go back in time by swiping to the left and you can see that this heading right here from July 4th to July 6th, this past, past weekend, I have it lined out and it's still the title of this page, but I clicked this little X button to the right of the heading in order to get rid of it once that weekend had passed because now I no longer want to see it in my index because I don't need to navigate there anymore, or at least not often. And so I still can access it, I just don't need to have quick access to it. But if I come back to my setting, my index, I can come back to the current week, or I can navigate very easily to weeks into the future, like say, let's say July 18th to July 20th. This week I have my sister's birthday party, so I could write sister's B-Day party occurring on Friday. All right, the next tool that I want to show you is the Quick Access Toolbar. This is an indispensable part of the Supernote ecosystem, regardless of what you're using Supernote for. The Quick Access Toolbar lives, I'm going to show you, because you aren't going to be able to see it on the, the uh, mirror here. The Quick Access Toolbar is accessed by swiping down on this little line on the side of the Supernote, which is what brings up the Quick Access, Access Toolbar, which you can see now on the screen. The Quick Access Toolbar, as it sounds, is how you can navigate across multiple notebooks very, very quickly, notebook series, using this one home. So for example, I could go to Bird's Eye to see my entire uh, annual calendar. I can go to Seasonally to look at my goals for the, the respective seasons. And I can very quickly navigate back and forth based on my needs. In order to add a notebook to the Quick Access Toolbar, we're going to come into this note that we just made. I go up to the hamburger menu in the top right corner, and you can see down at the bottom I have Quick Access. I have two different options. One is a page, and the other is a note. So what that means is, if I were to attach this current page to the Quick Access Toolbar, that means that every time I click that link that I made, I'm going to come to this page specifically Monday, July 7th through Friday, July 11th. That's not what I want because I'm not going to always be referring to that particular week. That's what I use the indexing tool for, the headings for. And so instead, I want to, I want to navigate specifically to the notebook, the series, and whenever I go to that note, it'll take me to the last page that I was on. So if I add this note, you're going to see it's going to show up now in my quick access toolbar. It's up here at the top. I have two notes called weekly now. That's because the one for the demo is the same as the one that I have for my actual notebook. I'll move this down using those arrows at the top. This one is the one that we just made. So now if I click over to my weekly, the one that I currently have in use, I can also quickly navigate back to the one that we've made for this demo. Okay, finally, the last tool that I want to show you in order to power up your planning with Supernote is called Layers. In order to show you how this works, I'm going to first change the template that we're using here in this weekly uh, demo that, notebook that we're using. I'm going to change it to five millimeter dots. This is one that I believe actually comes with the Supernote. Okay, and what I want to do is recreate my annual long-term scope uh, planning system here. So off screen, give me just one second. All right, so we have here my long-term planning template. What I do is I start with a five millimeter, I start with a bullet journal template and then I line out three columns for a month each and I line out the numbers on the, the side for the month, the days of the month 
each row then represents a single day and I write different events that are happening throughout the year so that I can get a bird's eye perspective of what's coming up. Layers are a feature of Supernote that were originally designed for uh, drawing where in order to write, in order to draw different things, I'm not really a drawer, but my understanding is that those that draw, draw in different layers in order to add depth and shadow and things like that in order to draw more effective pictures. But I've found that I can actually use that same tool in my planning to help me filter out and back in particular pieces of information that I'm interested in seeing at different times, kind of like you use in a database. Okay, so for example, what I have here in this template is several layers that are already built in. I have specials, I have Mr. Crofts, and then I have the main layer. If I hide specials, what you'll see is that all of those dates, like holidays, birthdays, all of those things were erased because they were all part of that particular layer. And then if I bring it back, but I got rid of the main layer, you would see that all of the template itself was removed. The reason this is helpful is, for example, I recently was working for this, my local school district and they do a block schedule. These A, B, A, and C days are part of the school calendar. And so if I was ever interested in looking ahead and seeing a uh, particular day and what kind of day it was, I could get rid of the other layers that were in the way that included things like birthdays and holidays so that I would only focus on those things that were part of my school calendar. And then the, the reverse is true if I only wanted to see special days and not work days. In this case, I only have three lined out in the Mr. Crofts layer, but I'm only interested in seeing birthdays, holidays, special events like CFD. I can narrow it down to just that layer so that just like in a database where you can filter based on criteria and, and bring out information that is relevant to you, this enables that same functionality.